So, here I am, bright and early, first thing in the morning, out with my boy, found me a cave on the beach, away from the wind which is howling just now. There's the beach, my boy's down there somewhere, probably foraging for some dead fish, which is what he likes to do. I've just been for a big hike, and it's the third this week. And uh, yeah, I'm pushing my luck now, but uh, I've had no fallout from it. So why not? Uh, it's doing me good. Last month, last three months have been hell. And uh, four weeks ago, I had a pile of fluid sucked out of my lungs. And uh, I'm on various medication now for blood clots and... There he is, and what have you. But, uh... Oi! Molly! Here baby, here he comes, and uh, whee! As soon as he appears on the scene, he'll see me again, will he? Here he is, whee! You on telly baby? <laughs> yeah, anyway, started loading up on vitamin C, high dose vitamin C intravenous, and my vitamin D, getting loads of sun at the moment, I'm eating like a horse, but I haven't been able to eat. Uh, it really crippled my appetite, my gut lining, and uh, left me with blood clots, and the fatigue's lifted, and I'm getting my muscle strength back, putting my weight back on. Alice is still struggling. Um, it's 12 weeks now, uh, fever's dropped, but um, she's got chronic fatigue again, on top of chronic fatigue she already had from uh, a vaccine, well, various vaccines over the years. Um, she's recovering slowly, but uh, yeah, this thing does drag out. They call them the COVID long haulers, and uh, there are a lot of people who are suffering um, quietly, silently, getting no recognition for the long term effects of this thing. And uh, I have to say, it's been a very raw and personal experience for me, this, and uh, I don't think it helps. I, I personally believe, I'm very much of the opinion that this, is, uh, this virus is real. Uh, everything else about this story is, uh, is faked and hyped up and exaggerated. And it's going to be used, and it is being used, to further the agenda. And the agenda is complete control of all of us. Everything we do, everything we say, everywhere we go, everything we think. And that's the plan. That's what we should be focusing on, in my view. And of course people need to be protected if there's a virus or uh, whatever it is in the environment that's causing disruption. Uh, but locking everybody down is just insane. Typically what you do in this kind of situation is you protect the vulnerable. So the people that are at risk and don't want to be exposed to a virus or whatever it is should be protected. And the rest of us who want to take our chances and turn this virus into what they all become, which is a non-event. Once it's passed through the population, we develop herd immunity and we're all protected from it. We're not going to get protection from any vaccine ever. And But that's the plan. Vaccination. Vaccinate everybody. Vaccinate everything as often as possible. Track and trace, control the population. Microchips will be next, and we'll be queuing up for them if we're not careful. We need to think about what's going on. And, uh, you know, this is our time to shine. And we really need to start thinking about the future, about what they're trying to do, and what we've been warned for, for decades now was coming. It's all coming together rapidly. And we need to step up, and otherwise we're all going to be in a lot of trouble. Some more from me shortly.